hi everyone in this video i'm going to teach you how to test leds as you can see here so guys i'm going to teach you how to test it the right way so welcome guys to the episode number 20 and by the way my friends i have decided to start testing components based on your comments you get to choose what I test next. Just leave your suggestion in the comments and the component that gets the most mentions will be the one I test in the next video. I am reading all your comments so don't hesitate to share your ideas. And please, if you enjoy these videos and want to support my work, the best way to say thank you for me is by liking and sharing the video. It really helps a lot. So guys, let's learn about electronics together at a high level, one component at a time. So before starting this episode, which component should I test next? Please enter comments. So LED light emitting diode is just a diode like all other diodes. So it's simple basically is the same as normal diode with two arrows like this. And please differentiate between LED this one and this component. This component basically with two arrows in this direction this is basically a photo diode this kind of diode is used in optocoupler and of course for anyone who want to understand how to test op optocouplers you can go back in the optocoupler episodes or check the link in the screen so guys the led is a normal diode and of course it passes the current in just one side from the anode to the cathode or from the positive terminal to the negative terminal that's why testing diodes are very easy we can just test it using the same working principle so guys all those are diodes and the first step is to locate the cathode and the anode and very simple this one for example over here we have cathode and here we have anode cathode anode how do you see this white mark always you will find a white mark or sometimes you can find a positive terminal in the anode so this white mark means this is cathode and anode and to test this kind of diodes or leds you have to use of course the multimeter and select the diode mode so let's select the diode mode like this Please, before diving into the course, we'd like to give a huge thank you to the sponsor for this video, PCBWay. PCBWay offers many services ranging from PCB production and assembly to 3D printing and a variety of materials. CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and more. PCB way makes it easy to get custom parts for your project. And if you don't like to work a lot with a soldering iron, they can even assemble your PCBs for you. That's the PCB way. Now back to the video. And began testing this component. So let's begin with this one. So the black probe or the negative terminal in the cathode and the positive terminal in the anode do you see guys we get a reading in the multimeter and also the led is on do you see gray light this is a good sign that this led is on so you can even ignore the multimeter without the multimeter if the LED is on, you get the light, means it is good LED. This is a service signal. Let's check this one. The negative terminal in the cathode, the positive terminal in the anode. Do you see, guys? We get about 600 drop voltage in the multimeter, and the LED is not on totally, but this is good. So you can use the multimeter reading or refer to the light in the LED. Let's check this one also. So one probe here, 
another probe here. The LED is not on, but we have a good reading in the multimeter about 600. This is good. Okay, this one here. We have about 600. This is good. Even if it is not on. This one. Okay, 600. This is good. So, this one we get two signs on and the right reading. So guys, this LED here is different from those. In terms of characteristics, it is different. Let's swap the probes and find out what will happen. So now I will put the red probe in the cathode here and the black probe in the anode. Let's see. No reading in the multimeter. No reading. Good. Do you see guys? When you swap the probes, as you can see, no reading. This one also, no reading. This is how I confirm that all those diodes are good. So please remember, when you want to test a diode, you have to get a reading, a drop voltage. Of course, it could be about 600 reading or 0.6 drop voltage. So guys, why exactly we get on? The diode is on like this. Why? Because the multimeter always inject a little bit current in this probe. And this current pass through this diode like this. That's why we get a light. Okay? Because the multimeter injects a current through the red probe. Okay, that's why we get like this. So guys, please remember, when testing a diode, this diode, example, when you put the red probe in the anode, okay, red probe or positive probe, and the black probe in the cathode or negative probe, you have to get about 0.5 to 0.7 volt drop. This is a drop voltage or you can get a reading about 500 to 700 or also drop here the diode is good but when you swap these two probes means the negative terminal here and the positive here you will get open line okay open line like this one means the current will not pass in the side means the diode is good but when you get a short zero like this when testing the diode you get a short or a zero means the diode is shorted and if you didn't get any reading in both sides means the diode is failed you have to replace it and of course when you test the diode and the diode becomes on you see a light means automatically the diet is good without even pay attention to the multimeter so guys i hope that you understand so please if you want to thank me the best way to say thank you for me is by liking and sharing this video and please don't forget our challenge is to reach a 1000 component testing different components and i will of course try me and my team to upload one component every day in a daily basis so please don't forget to like subscribe share and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos so thank you very much and see you with another component